you know, he ended up going in the game. And I thought he did some, some good things. So, um, you know, hopefully we can get some continued growth from him. Was it the plan for him to get in the game or just kind of how things went? Really kind of how things went. Um, and, you know, look, I tell these guys, you got to be ready. Yeah. Um, over the course of an NFL season, we're probably going to end up playing everyone that's in that room, um, in the defensive room, really on the entire team. So, um, you know, it's, it's up to them to prepare and be ready to be called on at any moment. Um, that's been the case for several guys over the course yeah. of the season. Um, and really, even now, with the, you know, we've got you know, had some, injuries, some other injuries. Um, and, uh, you know, that was good for Jalen. I'm going to that. That moment, the time you decided to put him in, looks like after the Gibbs touchdown on that next series, would made it that the moment to put Jalen in there. Yeah, you know, we had, uh, you know, uh, I think collectively, you know, we were having some issues defensively. Um, you know, obviously that always starts with me. You know, I think yeah, I got to give Detroit a good, uh, some credit. They, they did a really nice job. They had a good plan. Um, and their guys made plays. So we just needed a spark, you know. And that was really kind of the thought process. Hey, let's get somebody else in here, maybe um, get a little spark. And that was kind of the thought process on that one. Do you imagine a Caleb? Oh, he'll be out there. Yeah, 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 he'll yeah. be out there. There's no, no, no question about that. So, and Caleb's done a lot of really good things for us this this season. Um, look, you know, we all have moments, sure. and uh, you know, he'll bounce back. You worry about a guy's confidence? Like, no. No, Caleb's a confident kid. I think, um, you know, in that moment, you know, it was really more about, um, you know, the group and the unit and just trying to get a little different spark. Um, but he, look, he's a, he's a confident kid. He's obviously played well over the course of the season. Um, we have a lot of confidence in him, and uh, you know, he'll be back out there as well. Losing DJ Wanham, I guess, what has he meant to that group, especially after Marcus went down and just kind of seeing that happen more of your thought process? Yeah, I mean, DJ, you know, it's – Obviously, a huge loss for um, for us defensively and us as a team. Uh, he's really grown into a leadership role. Um, obviously, he's played well. Um, he plays so many different spots and does so many different things. Uh, that helps us. You know that you know, metric or stat they got from Metellus. He plays a bunch of spots. DJ is really, you know, very similar as far as the different roles he's played um, and played all all of them at a high level. So. Um, there is a, a leadership, a communication, um, an edge setting, uh, uh, obviously uh, pressure pressure rates and things of that nature that he brings to the table that um, collectively it won't be just, hey, we, you know, pump in Pat Jones, which obviously he's gonna be a big part of that. Um, and, but it's gonna be a kind of a, a total team effort, you know, whether it's uh, Pixie doing a little bit more, Pace doing a little bit more, or, Andre Carter jumping in there, doing a little bit more uh, collectively as a as a total unit. Uh, we're gonna have to kind of pick up his slack. Same with Murphy. Same with uh, well, really same with Davenport when he went down, and Hicksy when he went down. So this is not you know something that's new. Um, we just uh, we gotta have the uh, the next the next. You know, I don't like the next man up mentality. It's really the next group of guys who we need to go in and uh, you know take over that. that those snaps, that production, and um, I think we got the guys to do that. Yeah. I think we got a really good staff. Um, you know, between Mike Sarabo and Durante Jones and Pet. Um, you know, I think they do a really good job of Marge. I think they do a really good job of. Get with the players, meeting with them, extra walkthrough, extra whatever they need um, for whatever that role is for that specific game. You, know, you don't normally give them all, you know, the entire playbook and you know, say, "Hey, learn it all." But um, you know, guys who you know, you mentioned Bar, like Bar. Hey, here's a small role. You know, let's do a good job with it and um, you know, kind of grow from there. So I think our staff's done a nice job. Jordan looked like same Jordan. Yes, so it was obviously great to get him out there. Um, I thought he played well. Um, he gave us a spark. He gave you know, Rob some hard energy, um, and he's excited to get back out there. You know, when you haven't played for a little, what's like anything? You haven't played for a little while. You're a little bit, um, you know, rusty. You haven't coached for a little while. You're a little rusty. You haven't 
you know, written for a little bit while, while you're a little bit rusty. So, um, you know, I know he wanted to get some kinks out. He felt that way. Um, but I thought, you know, even even with that, given everything that he's gone through, I thought he played great. Brian, with uh, Harrison Smith, that now you've had a, a full season to work with him. I guess, what, what do you think the key to his longevity in the league and, and at this high of a level of play has been? I mean, there's, there's a lot there. I mean, um, obviously, he's very, uh, very bright. Uh, he's very talented. I think there's a, uh, a want to and a uh, just belief in himself and a belief in, um, you know, his skill set. And, you know, he's really been, you know, awesome to work, be, to work with. Um, I think he's, you know, Hall of Fame worthy. Um, I think he's already kind of, I wouldn't say cemented that, but he's, he's, there's sure, certainly should be some conversation around that. Uh, whenever he decides to, uh, you know, move forward, hopefully it's not anytime soon. Let's put that out there right now. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, he's just he's tough. He's smart. The game's important to him. Um, he has fun. I, mean, I think that's that's one thing you see. He, you know, there's a lot of joy when he's playing football. Um, he's a great teammate. Um, he makes people around him better. Um, and uh, he just he's 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 been great to work. How much had you dealt with him or met him before coming here? Oh, uh, there's uh, I got a I got a <laughs> I got a few stories. Well, well, the one in particular is so I went to Boston College. I was friends with a guy named Dave Ramsey, who's Harrison's uncle. Yeah. And we, there was uh, they were trying to get him to Boston College, and I, I watched him. And he was like, yeah, he's probably going to go somewhere else. <laughs> he ended up going to Notre Dame, and uh, so I, I've known about him for a long time. So this is really the first. You know, interactions that I've, you know, daily interactions that I've had with him, but just watching him from afar. Um, as you guys know, my first position in this league was with the safety, so um, I have a pretty good feel for, you know, anyone who's played in the last 15 to 20 years. Uh, he's up there as far as, you know, the guys who've been most productive um, and really have just played, you know, the amount of, to play the amount of snaps he's played is just um, really incredible and just a testament to you know, the work that he puts in, um, his durability, that's a big part of it. But yeah, I hadn't been around him, but it's been great to be around him this particular year. With some of those younger guys, Josh or, or Cam in that spot, Josh obviously played a number of places, but how big of an influence has he been on them, just being able to pick up this defense and take on longer than it? I think more than picking up a defense, it's more, it, it's about just his professionalism, his maturity, the way he goes about it on a daily basis. I really firmly believe that um, you know guys who come into this league, you know the guys who last and the guys who um, you know make make long careers out of it, um, the guys who work and continue to develop and improve. And in order to do that, there's got to be a maturity, a professionalism, a way you go about your business. And you know a big part of that is watching somebody older than you kind of do it. Um, so I think Cam has seen that. I think Josh Patel has seen that. Seen that. I think that the entire group sees that um, he's such a, uh, uh, you know, he's that measuring stick. <laughs> if, if Harry's doing it, then, you know, they should probably be doing it too, or some version of it. Um, and he understands that's part of his role as well. Um, you know, so, to whom much is given, much is required. I think he understands that. Uh, and he's very helpful with a lot of the young players. Uh, so, you know, they're lucky to have him, and we're lucky to have him too. Yeah, I think he's done a phenomenal job. I mean, you know, there's been a, a litany of things that have gone on over the course of the year, and to really steer the ship in a direction where, um, you know, there's no uh, excuses that are being made, there's no fingers that are being pointed. We we'll just move on to the next situation and just try to. You know, go out there and get wins. Um, and I think he's really done that. I mean, he's the same way every day. Uh, there's a high expectation for um, you know this team, and um, you know even in the instances where we've had adversity, um, we've been able to you know kind of step up and push past it, um, and give ourselves an opportunity to uh, to continue playing and. As we push towards the next, you know, couple of weeks, give ourselves an opportunity to um, to make a push here.